What's up, guys? War here. Good morning. Welcome. What's up, guys? War here. It is the morning, and we are getting some videos done. So today, no. what's up, guys? War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm going to go over a lot of strategies to farm that precious, precious gold, okay? We all know that gold has been <clears throat> a serious commodity this season, and it's a real struggle when you're trying to upgrade things and masterwork, and when you're trying to re-roll, you do your Paragon board, and all these things, and it costs a lot, especially enchanting at the Occultist. Even though the cap's 10 million, I still think it's it's in a solid spot, but gold is definitely a necessity. You just go through it very, very quickly. So I'm gonna go over a couple different strategies to help you guys farm a lot of gold this season. And hopefully you'll be up to in the you know millions or hundreds of millions or billions of gold so that way you don't have to worry about it anymore. Now, before we get into a couple of the strategies here, I do want to say that the devs are changing the cost of some of the gold, uh, especially when it comes to master working here, um, which is awesome. This was in the past notes yesterday. We have a video on the channel if you guys want to check that out. But they are changing the gold costs for master working here which is really nice. It is it has gone down, which is good. So hopefully that will help us and not not use all of our gold, but we still have to use some of it, right? Because it still needs to feel a good balance. So they did change this and reduced it. The first four ranks are unchanged. Uh, rank five is 50,000 less, and then rank eight is 200,000 less. So it's, it's a little bit less. So let's go ahead and jump into the few different strategies that I have for you guys. And let's go over the ones that we have here. I have a few gold strategies. Um, the best gold farming methods is selling Tree of Whispers or Nightmare in Pits, which will in turn go to selling. So uh, first, let's talk about Tree of Whispers, because this is probably the biggest one. It's not the best, in my opinion, um, but it's still very, very, very good. I still think selling is probably going to be a little bit better, but let's go over Tree of Whispers. So Tree of Whispers, of course, we all know you got to uh, max out your Grim Favor, which we have here. So let's go over to Tree of Whispers, and we're talking about a few different things that kind of happened, at least in my experience, with turning the Tree of Whispers into this season. So if you turn into a normal tree, it seems to be anywhere from three to six million, roughly. Uh, it, it's somewhere in between there. I don't know if that, that chart is completely random. Um, and then I've had greater caches that have gotten me 11 million. So I don't know if it's just completely random or if it's a set amount again. Because remember, the last like couple seasons, in season three and season two, if you opened a normal cache, this is actually perfect for the video. If you guys opened up a normal cache, remember it was 4 million gold every time you opened it, no matter what, in World Tier 4. So you can, you can kind of like do some math and assume like, hey, if I can do 10 Tree of Whisper turn-ins in an hour, you know, 10 times 4, that's 40 million gold. You know, that's a lot of gold. So I think the numbers have fluctuated, either fluctuated or they've just given us a range. Like, hey, regular is 3 to 6 million, and, you know, the higher ones is 8 million to 12 million. And then chaos is even more than that, I think. Uh, or greater chaos, I should say. Greater collection of chaos. Regular collection of chaos, I think, is still 8 million, which is really nice. So this is actually really perfect for the video. So then that brings me into the three different layers here. So these, this, this is probably 3 to 6 million. This is somewhere around 8 million. Now, again, guys, these are just rough estimates here from what I've been kind of gathering as I've been doing my Tree of Whisper turn-ins. If you guys have some more definitive numbers or something that's you know for sure, like, hey, every single time I've opened this, I've calculated. Um, I've just got some variations. That could just be me. I'm not sure. But this is uh, somewhere around 8 million, and then the greater ones have been 8 million plus. So then, then it comes down to, well, which do you pick to get the most gold when you turn in? Obviously, it is all dependent on which one you get, but you always want to do greater no matter what. If you get a greater collection of chaos, you always take that because it's going to be the most amount of gold. So in this scenario, this is perfect. You'd go like level one, level two, level three. And then if it was a greater collection of chaos, it's level four. So we're going to open the greater collection of two-handed weapons here. I'm going to go ahead and move my inventory slot over. And you guys are going to see how much gold we get. We're at 64 million. 
right. And we go to 70 million, 71 million. So we gained 7 million from that greater cash. 7 mil. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but it definitely is. I then that I would just probably say that the greater collection is even more than that. But again, this feels random because last season that greater cash was always 8 million plus no matter what. It was a guaranteed 8 million plus. Um, however, even 7 million gold a pop, if you could do 10 Tree Whisper turn ins and be getting anywhere from 3 to 10 million gold per turn in, that's a lot of gold in an hour. So I still think Tree of Whispers is good. I just wish that it was a little bit more definitive. It seems so random on how much you get you guys let me know down in the comments below how your tree of whisper turnings have been um not with the bug but you know just in general when you've actually got the gold back because i know that was a big issue uh next on the list guys of course that i've talked about is selling so see as i said anywhere from three to to set to 11 million it's completely random um selling this is probably the most consistent way to get gold and I'm going to talk about a few different things here and why selling is very important and why it seems so different and why we have it seems like we have less gold. So one, the biggest change to gold selling is the fact that our inventory here, as well as our stash, isn't full. When we're doing different pieces of content in the game, you're not filling up your inventory as much as you did before because of all the yellows. You're not really looking at them once you get into all the legendaries, etc. right? You're only going to pick up the legendaries. Now, with that said, you're not selling as much, so you're not making as much gold. However, if you go fill an entire inventory stash, okay, and then we sell it, right? I got 71 gold. If you sell a full inventory stash, I go to, I gain 2.5 million gold. I gain 2.5 million gold from that, which is a lot of gold. That's a lot of gold. Now, again, this is going to vary. Uh, that's why I put 1.5 to 3 mil, because as you guys seen here, I do have a couple of uniques that I ended up selling. We got some yellows, and then we have regular um, legendaries that we were selling. So selling is by far the most consistent way, but the trick is, like, how do we fill up our inventory the fastest, right? To try to be as consistent as possible with our selling and make, maximizing our gold per hour. Well, one, my first suggestion, which we have in here, is doing Nightmare Dungeons or the Pits. Nightmare Dungeons and Pits are great. You're going to go through. You're going to get a couple hundred thousand gold when you complete it. And then you're picking up items along the way, which then you can sell. So this is a very, very good strategy. It's roughly $2 million, um, by the time you actually fill because you're going to have to do multiple attempts. Um, you have to do even more in the Pit. So it may be a little bit more than $2 because you're getting like 200 k when you're up in the 50s, 60s. I mean, even more money if you're if you're able to farm it efficiently at uh, higher levels. And the Nightmare Dungeons, you're only getting like a hundred and something thousand. I think 180 or 160, but you're getting a lot more items because you're killing more monsters, right? Because no items drop in the pit. Uh, so this is a very good way. It's not as consistent. You're gonna have to do many, many, many runs to fill up. So what I would suggest for you to do is to go do boss killing. Okay, boss killing is probably the best possible way, and that is going to be. Um, doing stuff on the boss ladder. So if you can farm Andy, right? You have a bunch of Andy runs, farm Andy. They drop you a lot of legendaries. Farm Duriel, drop a lot of legendaries. Uh, if you go farm Grigor, Grigor is probably the most consistent one. And the reason I say this is because he, besides the, the unique that you get, he can drop like 12 or 13 legendaries in one run. So you do two runs, your inventory is full, you go sell rinse and repeat we all have been you know just stacking 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 living seals i mean look at how many i have it's kind of insane um i got what 201 and i haven't even been farming like that it, it's just nuts um the other one that you can do definitely is down here in the tree of whispers with the uh varshan varshan is also good drops a lot of legendaries i would not suggest doing beast in the ice beast in the ice is not a consistent um boss to do this with because you have to travel through the nightmare dungeon also 
Like, I guess it could be good because you can pick up all the legendaries along the way in that Nightmare Dungeon, and then you get a bunch from him himself at the end. So his would be very good. It's just I'm thinking of how long it, it's going to take you to get through the dungeon and then fight him. Uh, when you By that time, you could probably do two Gragor runs with the reset and just have a max inventory. So it's a little bit faster. Beast in the Ice, if you pick up a bunch of legendaries along the way, it's good. But really, you're just rushing to the boss. So I don't think Beast in the Ice would be the best choice. Um, outside of that, guys, don't do Zer. I mean, Zer is good if you have a bunch of blood. You could do Zer if you have a bunch of blood. That one's really good. But any of the bosses on the boss ladder are amazing for this strategy just to gain a bunch of gold. So, again, guys, these are my three different strategies for making a bunch of gold this season. Selling Tree of Whispers and do Nightmare Pits or the bosses and just farm, farm, farm. We did a Durial session. And I still have a bunch left. We, I think we did like 60 runs. And we made close to 100 million gold off of those 60 runs by selling everything. So it it just seemed it seemed like that was just the best way to do it. So guys, if you're struggling with gold this season, do one of these strategies. And uh, hopefully it'll help you guys out. Like the video. Let's see if we can get this over 50 likes or 100. Uh, that'd be an awesome goal to hit. Comment down below again, guys. Let me know if there's a different goal strategy that I don't know of that works really, really well for you. Let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.